Hi, and welcome to Masters of the Delta Blues Guitar with Kevin Duggan. So that's I Heard It Through the Grapevine. Uh, it's in the key of, uh, with the drop D tuning. So the beginning part's just starting out by sliding your D chord. Up to the fifth fret. So it's... So you're, you're sliding this chord shape to the, to the fifth fret from the D shape, from the D position rather, right up to the fifth, back to the fourth. These are the notes you're using to get this. And I'm throwing percussive techniques into it, but you don't have to do that. You could just go, you could just go, an alternating bass. So you can just go with an alternating bass if you want. If you don't want to do the percussive, but it, it, it seems to add a little bit to it. So then once you get through that part, you're coming up to uh, where you go to the fifth fret on the high E string, which would be the A note. B string, you're coming up to the sixth fret. And on the G string, you're coming up to the seventh fret. So you're getting, so it's, it's a minor. Then you're coming back to that D shape. You're doing a full D, like you would do a D up here, all the way up in the seventh. or with an alternating bass. If you, if you didn't want to do the uh, percussive type style, or you could even use a, a, a sing, uh, monotonic bass. You know, if you're having any problems. So next you come up to this little part, which is a kind of a, a single, string lead, but you're still using the alternating bass, and you're on the D, going from the D on the third fret of the B string up to the sixth fret, so hitting it twice. Third fret of the E string, fifth fret of the E string. So. Then back to that D shape. Back up to the fifth fret. Now you're going into an, an A shape. And where the chord comes from uh, an A. It comes from the shape you'd get when you'd bar, bar an A, but you're only using it partially. So it almost looks like the same as the D shape here, but you're doing, you're on the fifth fret of the B string, and the fifth fret of the D string, and the sixth fret of the G string. 
So you're getting like a seventh sound. Use that little finger. Then I use this uh, for a G. It's kind of real bassy because we have the we have the drop D tuning. You know, our, our G is now instead of being on the third fret, it's all the way up to the fifth. And I'm also fretting on the fifth fret. I'm fretting the fifth fret of the fifth string, and I'm fretting the third fret of the fourth string. So I'm mostly using these bass notes. And you can even come back. So all these third fret with this G. for the G, so I'm using that chord a lot in this song. It's real bassy. You know, if you wanted to make it not so bassy, you could somehow throw in notes from down here. But then it comes down and you're, you're sliding back from the 10th fret, from barring the 10th fret. That same D shape from the from the D to, to the fifth fret D. Then I usually go and with the A seventh shape back to the G. So we have an open D, we have the, we have, we're in a drop D tuning. So now we're going into like an E9. So what's happening with this, this is kind of like a Jimmy, uh, Jimi Hendrix chord. Well, people associate it with them for some, for some strange reason. So, so I'm going, and then hitting the fifth fret and using the open D. So right here, I am using uh, like three fingers. You could strum it or whatever. And I'm going, I'm not, I'm going from the, the fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Then going, now going to the to the open D string, open D string, and so what you're getting is these these notes right here, which is the fifth fret, Now the A seventh slides up. Now something like a little turnaround y type thing. So th this here I'm on the eighth fret and I'm I've got these two strings fretted. But with two fingers. So you're, you're bending this up with two. So it's a nice song. It's basically a blues song, uh, but it's a little kind of a sophisticated blues song. Uh, it's a nice change, I suppose. Uh, one part that I didn't show you is coming up. 
sliding up to the ninth fret. So what you're doing is just sliding up 10th, sliding the, the bass note up to the 9th, and then down here you're getting these notes. You're on 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 7, 10, 7, 10 on the G string, down to the 7, so I'm doing the bass note in the background at the same time which is the fretted ninth. Now you're going to go into that, uh, the uh, D ninth part, where So that would be it. This is a blues song, and it's a sophisticated blues song. Uh, it's a beautiful song. It's really got a lot of uh, continuity to it. You know, the parts really relate well to one another. It's a, it's a fantastic composition uh, by Marvin Gaye. Uh, thanks. Hope you like that. Stay tuned, and thanks.